Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of Fatal. This is episode number four uh, and we had some pretty significant upgrades from the last episode. If you would like to check it out, I'll leave a link in the top left corner or top right corner, should I say. I'll leave a card up there so you can check out the series and of course, don't forget to subscribe to everyone participating. Their links are down below. And if you wouldn't mind at the same time smashing a thumbs up on this video, let's try and hit over a thousand likes. That would be awesome. So the upgrade that you guys wanted me to bring in were regular Hugo Lloris and Paul Pogba into the midfield. Really, really awesome two French high-rated Premier League players that are going to help strengthen the team like tenfold. It's ridiculous. Really looking forward to playing with these guys in game. So uh, the way it's going to go is that in terms of custom tactics, uh, I need to figure this out. So game plans attacking. The one I'm going to be playing on the most... Uh, See, at the moment, Pogba's going to go at DM, and I don't know if I really want that. I almost want Fred to just do that job and then have Pogba playing in, in the midfield role alongside, you know, with Rivaldo and, and Fred doing that job as well. Yeah, I think that's just going to have to be how it goes. I think I feel like anyway, and then at half time we can bring on Naby Keita uh, and and take off Mbenza, who's actually a striker, but really we need Royce up there, right? Uh, and then I guess for my slightly more defensive one, what I'll do is I'll leave Pogba in the CDM role because he's taller and stuff, uh, and then let Fred run around in the midfield. Uh, so we'll leave that one as it is. So that's what I'm going to do. So Pogba's really going to be playing as a centre midfielder. What it does mean though is that. Going forwards, when we upgrade our players, uh, we've kind of got one of our attackers in in the centre mid spot right now. So maybe our striker probably needs to be like a defensive midfielder, and then that's what it will switch to in game. Or like maybe we move Pogba up front uh, just for the very start for like chemistry reasons and stuff. Uh, so let's, for example, say we were able to unlock Kante. I would probably want to to, to put him up front as the in the starting squad so that then he could be my DM uh, and then Royce who's actually in a midfield spot could be my striker eventually. So do you know, I'm sure you guys get what I mean. The one other thing is that you voted for Player of the Month Hazard to come in as a substitute. I've got 11 games left on his uh, on his loan, so hopefully that will do me for the rest of this series. Uh, I'm sure it'll be all right. If we've got four games left on, on like the Road to Glory style, and then there's a whole bunch of games there that I could play in the YouTuber tournament. So uh, I guess it would depend on how far we go, or if I'm winning by a lot of goals, maybe in this segment, then maybe I don't bring him on so that I save alone. We'll figure it out. Uh, without further ado, let's get into game number one. I'm going to play this guy. Uh, it was a not the greatest of connections, but it's taken me ages to find a squad. Oh, he's got a La Liga team. I mean, it did say that in the corner. It's an 85 rate, at like a 185, 100 chem team. Uh, some good options for substitutes. We've got to beat him first. This, this, is, a, this is one of our toughest tests yet. Uh, a good, solid squad. It could be difficult. I'm away from home, and the connection was like a 3-4 slash bar. But like I said, it just take, it takes so long to find a game that I finally found a 100 chem team. I'm going to play it. All right. Let's hope that my boys can, can perform and that this game isn't too laggy. His, his team name is just Chicken. Chicken. We all love chicken. Got extra incentive to try and beat this guy because he's got the Norwich kit on. And as an Ipswich fan, I don't like Norwich very much, as you can well imagine. Rivaldo. Into Royce. Into Markovic. Into Rivaldo. I'm going to hit it. Uh, I shouldn't have. I should have probably tried to play that back to someone else. So he's going to run down the wing. Like this is the thing with having Dembele and and also Promes. Like it's going to be a problem for me to defend uh, because I have two two non-rare or two silver fullbacks. That's a great ball. Oh my god, I can't believe he's missed that. He's going to whip it in. Big header from Godin, but over the bar. Not even going to test Loris on this occasion. Yeah, we've sort of kept the ball, which is fine. To Pogba, to Rivaldo. Scoot past, hit the shot, bang it. Oh, good save from Kalor Navas. I've hit that. I mean, it got deflected, but it probably would have sailed into the back of the net. Uh, I'm just going to pause it quickly. Are my players in the right spot? Yeah, they are. Mm, I don't know what to do. I reckon I'm actually going to move Pogba as my DM and then have Fred as, as the centre mid. Yeah, I'm just going to do that for now. Uh, 
because I don't know Pogba seems super wide and, and Fred seems a bit quicker than Pogba so I need a little bit out wide you need a little bit more pace I kind of need him to act like a winger sometimes maybe Pogba being a taller player can just hold things down a bit better this is a lot of pressure Schlupp's done well Rivaldo I need you no Casemiro is always going to win that aerial battle of course he struck it but we do have a goalkeeper now so that's the least of our problems is those sorts of long shots Again down the line. My God, mate. He's going to score one right now. I can't handle it. He's definitely, like, taken advantage of the fact that I've got silver fullbacks at the moment. And I'm really struggling. We've got an opportunity with Rivaldo. And that's 1-0. You can't give him that space. You just can't. Because that finesse shot will fly in so many times. Like... It will hit the post a lot as well because, you know, that, that is that is the meme of this series. I was actually watching Zwei's episode the other day. Royce is doing the same thing for Zwei. He's hitting the post all the time too. I, what is it? What is it about FIFA 19 and smacking the post with your fatal player? It's crazy. But we're 1-0 up and that's 50,000 coins. All right, run with Pogba. Up to Markovic. Into Rivaldo. Visit into Royce. Get past that defender. Cut inside. We'll take the corner. That could have been a penalty. It could have been something like that. But we'll take the corner. Now whip it to Royce. Because Royce on, on the inside here. There's a chance we could get something from this. Rivaldo, big head. No. As long as I get this ball, I'm alright. Into Fred. Out to Pogba. Into Rivaldo. Flick it up. Volley it. Oh, nearly. That's a, that's a good idea. That that flick up to straightaway volley with someone like Rivaldo, that could work for us. We're 1-0 up at half time with a 50k Rivaldo goal, but it's not been like it's not been super easy. This is actually really quite tough. Nowhere near as much possession as my opponent, uh, but we we're, we're keeping him off goal somewhat. Now we can make some subs here. Markovic, you're coming off mate for Hazard. Hazard's got to come on. Uh, Navi Cater's coming on for Mbenza. And we're going to put Navi Cater as our CDM. I think that's going to work for us. And then we don't need to bring Farman on because we've got Lloris. So he's done his job for our club. But those two subs uh, should, should help us out an awful lot, I would hope. Uh, yeah, that should be good. So the, I can't believe the player switching on this game. It just it switches to the, the most dumb option like 90% of the time. This is a goal... Good, good defensive clearance. Cater up to Pogba. Up to Royce. Into Hazard. Is Rivaldo making... No, oh, he's going to be offside. I swear I played that early enough. Into Rivaldo. Take the shot. Is that a penalty ref? I've been scythed down. Apparently that was, uh, that was legal. Alright. Fair enough. Oh, nearly. Nearly great work from Rivaldo there. Some really nice dribbling and stuff. Hit that hazard. Oh, how have I missed? What's happening in this game? Uh, <laughs> I'm still only 1-0 up. Oh, good defending from Casemiro. Just chase back with Rivaldo. Pogba seems lame. Seems like a waste of money so far, I'm not going to lie. Oh, what? Now he's going to score. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How has he missed? Oh, it was gifted to him. Put on a plate for you, mate. Yes! That's a cheeky little goal from Eden Hazard. The super sub has come on to score us a 30k goal. It just played nicely into him and he snuck it underneath the goalkeeper. Thank you very much. 2-0 finally. Uh, and that's 80k. So I can feel a little bit better about this game now. Oh, it's taken its time, but we've earned a, like a you know an all right amount at this point. Hopefully, we don't concede or or you know bottle this game and end up losing it or something. That would suck. I see Hazard making a run. I want to cut it back, play it to Royce though. Oh, Fred! In to Royce. What a goal! That is team play. Oh my God, that was such a nice goal. That was some really really nice FIFA. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing when I cut back with Fred right there. Like, I pressed the buttons to do a cutback or to do a fake shot. But, like, at the same time, I, I think I was trying to hit. I kind of, in my head, wanted to just shoot. Uh, but then I'm glad that, you know, my hands were smarter than my brain. Because that worked out for us really well. Right, game done. 
uh, well, game one done, should I say. That was a 3-0 win, and uh, I believe it was two goals from normal players and one from Rivaldo, uh, which means we get 50k, then 80k, then 110,000 coins for that win. Good start. A uh, bit of a rocky one, though. That wasn't the that wasn't the crispest of gameplay from my perspective. All right, game number one was overall a success, 110,000 coins. It's pretty obvious to me that we need to get rid of these silvers ASAP, uh, and I would recommend us... Uh, I don't know. I probably want to upgrade these two forwards uh, just because, like, I know that outscoring my opponent is a great way to get extra coins. Um, but, yeah, I am definitely getting exposed down the wings as well. So uh, that could also be important upgrades. We'll have to see what we earn. Let's get into game number two. I didn't see this guy's chemistry, uh, so I might have to back out. No, he's got a 100 chem team. Uh, well, okay, it's all the same team. Is that Bordeaux? Yeah, Bordeaux, top left corner. Come on, Tom, wake up. Um... I guess he's a Bordeaux fan. He's using his team. But maybe we can do something against it. I don't know. I get worried about players like this because often they're quite good. So, you know, it's, it, it's a team that could definitely beat us if he's a good player. That's what FIFA comes down to 90% of the time. How good's the actual player at the game? I've struck it with Rivaldo, but it's just gone wide. Ah, they used to be my forte. They don't work as well on FIFA 19. Like the long shots and stuff, the powerful long shots. It's just, there's a lot of error in that. <sighs> this isn't going so great so far. All right, into Benz Benza. I mean, I wanted that to Royce, but again, like the pass was abysmal. That should be a goal. That's a lovely goal from Rivaldo. Um, I am just fully taking advantage of when them finesse shots pop up. If I can hit it in the green, then that is my goal. Uh, he's so ridiculous at him. The curve, the ability, like, ah, uh, iconic. I love him. I do actually really like him now. He's become, like, I, I've grown into him because he, he was he was a little bit suspect in the first game or two, whereas where I couldn't do anything with him. But... Like, I've realized that he's tall. He actually sticks a leg in so often and, and helps intercept stuff. That's a goal. Good save, Lloris. I actually moved the goalkeeper the other way. So I'm actually surprised that he saved that. I need to somehow move Berteng in front of this tall blonde lad. Yep, done it. Nice. Right, Markovic. Markovic plays it back to Fred. Fred's left-footed, though. So, oof, good save from Costil. Uh, I'm actually going to play this one short and then and get going from there into Rivaldo. Oh, I've turned him. Oh, I've not quite scored it. Davinson Sanchez is the one picking the ball up here. Play it back to Pogba. Oh, what a... Was that a flip-flap or something? I don't know. It was good, though. And Fred is getting out-muscled and I... Oh, that's his throw-in. Yes, Rivaldo. Royce is open. He's free. He's through. Strike it, bottom corner, low driven shot, that is 2-0, and that's a nice goal and a nice assist from our main man, Rivaldo. Good finish from Red Royce on his weak foot, 2-0. Oh, that was a good one. I, I had so much time to decide whether or not I was going to hit that low driven, got my angle right, and then, you know, that's all she wrote really, isn't it? So we've gone 80k in this episode so far, so we're up to like 190. Good. Can get a couple good players for that. Come on, Rivaldo. Make that run through the middle. Oh, you've done it. Oh, oh, the LB fake shot there was beautiful. I can't wait to see the replay on this one. Like, that was nice. That really got him away from the defender. Oh, it doesn't show it to us. Brilliant. I'll show you at the end. But uh, that's another 50k goal from Rivaldo. It was either the, the, the LB fake shot there or the La Croqueta. And my, my hands just did the, the, the fake shot. So that's the one we went with. Again, my hands being smarter than, than my brain. Um, thank God. Half time. Okay, 3-0. Like, good half. Really good half. Lots of coins again. Uh, we've earned 130 in this game and 110 in the last one. 240k so far. 11 shots, 10 on target. Uh, this is a game where we definitely don't need to bring on Eden Hazard, so we'll save him. Uh, however, we will bring off Mbenza and bring on Naby Keita. Like, we don't need to use Hazard right now, do we? It's just not necessary. Unless this guy gets back into the game and then I'll bring him on. Like, we should be able to... We've got enough firepower as it is. This is actually quite nice from him. Very nice, actually. Good save. I moved the goalkeeper ever so slightly to the left. Whether or not the game actually did it in time, I don't know. 
But what a save that was. Is that a foul? Oh, we'll take the free kick. Gives me an opportunity to strike with... What's Rivaldo doing? He's fallen over. Gives me an opportunity to strike here. Going to go like that. And then this much power. Whoa! <laughs> that curved a bit too much and had a bit too much height on it. Uh, all right, you live, you learn. What a goal! Wow! Uh, that's a bit... Getting shushed. Actually just got shushed. Uh, all right, it's on. <laughs> it's on. That's a good goal, to be fair to my opponent. Lovely strike. Good ball into Rivaldo. Hit the low driven. Good save from Costille. That wasn't the greatest of shots. Starting to get a bit wound up. What is that? <laughs> all right, and that's all she wrote, boys. Like, that didn't quite go as well as I hoped towards the end. Uh, I guess I was forcing it, trying to get it to Rivaldo a little bit too much. Uh, but because he scored a goal, we'd scored two with Rivaldo. The Royce one gets cancelled out because of my opponent's goal. We earn 100 and... 100k there. We earned 110 in the first match. 210k to work with. Let's uh, let's take a little a little look or a little look, should I say, at what uh, squad we could put together or two new upgrades for you. Okay, guys, so I've had a little bit of a think about it, and I think I've got two very, very good options for you today. It's going to take a little bit of explaining, and I'll change the formation about and stuff uh, to show you exactly where people will play. But let's get into those options then. So this right here is option number one, and what it does is actually flips the midfield around a little bit. Um, just literally like move, moving these guys across into different positions so that we can make our left-hand side the Bundesliga side. Now, um, Royce gets a little bit of extra chem off of Rivaldo which is helpful um, but our two players that we would bring in are David Alaba and the UCL Casemiro now you might be wondering lastly what are you on about mate well if we were to play like this uh, what we would need to do would switch it to the 4-1-2-1-2 in game let me do that for you now and uh, Casemiro would instantly go as my CDM Pogba would be my right centre mid Fred would be my left Cam would be obviously Rivaldo, Royce would go there, and that's how the team would line up in game, all be on full chemistry and stuff like that. Uh, and of course, Casemiro would always be on full chem from the start because he gets a strong link from the icon Brazilian, uh, which means that, and because he's only got two links to him in this formation, uh, it's great because he'll always be on full chemistry. So that's option number one. Option number two then would be a very down a similar path, uh, but it would be two UCL cards, and it just depends on what you guys would prefer. Uh, it gives us a little bit more leeway in terms of who we would bring in in this right forward role. Uh, you know, meaning that like I would I, I wouldn't have to go with specific Premier League players if I had Casemiro here. I'd need someone like Lucas or someone from Man United or someone French or Brazilian in the Prem to get enough chemistry. Um, however, uh, if if we went with this one, which is Fabinho, I could have literally any Premier League right-sided player. Uh, so if we earned loads of coins, we could bring Salah in or something like that, you know. So a little bit more freedom. Uh, it brings in UCL Schultz, who's someone that people have been talking about an awful lot. He looks really, really good. It would be a trio of Germans here, getting enough chemistry on that side. Uh, and then Fabinho, like, I'll show you once again what we would do. It's a very similar situation. Uh, it's just a way to get Fabinho into the side on full chemistry at the start uh, so Fred would go here and then yes like this so this is exactly how the team would line up uh, in in option number two Fabinho is my DM he's been so proven for me to be awesome this year Fred Pogba Rivaldo Royce and then whoever it is like Salah or someone I don't know whoever we earn coins for in the next episode um, that looks pretty tempting to me let me know what your thoughts are whether you prefer option number one which is Alaba and UCL Casemiro or option number two which is UCL Schultz and UCL Fabinho uh, and then of course there will be a straw poll for uh, the two teams for both the substitutes that or the substitute that you guys could pick for us as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.